here it is, a uh, deconstructed uh, Viber Probe 560 uh, made by Treasure Products. Uh, this unit here, a couple years ago, I paid 120 bucks about, and I got about 20 hours out of it. Um, when it stopped working again, the first three months I had it, I uh, put a battery in it, it would just vibrate a couple times and it wouldn't detect any metal. So I sent it back. And a couple weeks later, they sent the same one right back to me saying, you know, there's nothing, it works. So, uh, I got about another hour out of it when it stopped, it started doing the same thing. Put a battery in, it buzzed three times, and that was the end of it. So, the other day, I was out, uh, browsing the web and came across a bunch of other people having the same exact problem on the older ones. And even the newer ones, they were also having the same problem. So, I was like, you know what, I got this thing sitting on the shelf, it's useless to me. I'm going uh, to take it apart and see what goes on, and to my surprise, I ended up having to use a hacksaw to get into it, and I'll give them that. This thing is water tight. Uh, there's no water going to leak into this thing. Uh, built like a tank. I, like I said, I liked it when I had it. I don't think I'll ever buy another one, but uh, here was my problem I was having. <clears throat> so I put a battery in. I turned it on. <laughs> That was it. Uh, it was basically, like a lot of other people are having it, nothing. And so I'm sitting there, I'm looking at it, and uh, I noticed, I'm going to zoom in here. Maybe you can see it too. So I'm going to zoom in here. When they mounted the board in there, yeah, there's a little slot in there. Built right into the handle. Yeah, right there. There's a little slot. There's one on the other side too. Let's see if I get a good picture of it. Yeah, right there. This board, I imagine, is supposed to slide into that slot and I would hot glue it or whatever they do with it. But this isn't even on it. It's actually underneath those slots. So so I'm looking at it. I'm like, you know what? It's probably not mounted right in there. So I went to go flex the board and started working. So let me zoom back out here. I actually have to flex the board to get it to work again. So look at that. So, and that seems weird, and I was thinking, you know, it might be a cold, cold solder joint, a uh, little trim pot in here, you know, as soon as you touch it, the thing goes crazy. So, that's probably got a cold solder joint, a little chip here, I, noticed there, I don't know if by design or what up, but it's not even soldered onto the board, well, one of the tongs isn't even soldered onto the board, that, you know, yeah, no, no solder on that, so... But uh, when I took it apart and when I was cutting this off, I noticed this connector here they used to connect to the tip. That was actually hot glued. You can see all the hot glue on there in, to inside the, the shaft here. And I imagine when they put it together, you know, everything went together that way. But again, it had it would have it would have had to flex in there. So I'm wondering, you know with the flexing and all that have created a cold solder joint or something like that but you know for literally 20 hours $120 uh, wasn't worth it will I buy another one no I don't think so uh, but it was great for it was waterproof I had it in the water once no problems uh, it sure as heck didn't leak but they got like a ton of hot glue in there so and I wonder if because it wasn't lined up into that thing it's causing the board to flex and that's what caused it and you know, other people complaining the same thing. So one of these days, I'll pop this whole thing in the oven, melt some of that glue out of here, and see if I can uh, fix it. So, but so, but that's it for now. And uh, for the people who spent the money, and you know, what well, just wasn't worth it. So, enjoy.